going to show you how to make an American Girl pizza party set. If you like crafting for your American Girl doll, subscribe and just craft it. We want to give a shout out to Madison, thanks for the request. For this craft you'll need printables from our blog, scissors, craft foam, craft paint, aluminum duct tape, tape, a glue stick, puffy paint, hot glue, a big wooden dowel, recycled paper board, any straws, and a ruler or something that has a flat edge. I want you to start by cutting out all the printables for this craft. You can find the printables on our blog at AmericanGirlIdeas.com and the link is in the description below. Take your pizza box printable, use a glue stick for the back, apply it to the recycled paper board, make sure to get all the air bubbles out, cut it out on the paper board, then you're going to score along the lines, that way you can fold it into a box. Once you have scored all the lines, you're going to cut the little tabs. Once the tabs are cut, you can now fold it into a box. To keep it into place, you're going to use tape to tape it together. Now for the pizza crust, you're going to take a very thick piece of craft foam, fold it in half, and cut it into a heart. You can do a traditional circle pizza, but the American Girl version is a heart, so we're going to do a heart first. Then you're going to want to take your craft paint and you're going to want to color it the color of a crust, so maybe a light tan or a light brown. Then take your puffy paint and fill in the cheese. I'm using white and yellow and I'm just going to mix them together. And for the pepperonis, I cut up circles from craft foam. For the black olives, I'm using little tiny seed beads. And then for the green peppers, I'm going to use the green puffy paint and just draw the shape onto the pizza. Make sure it completely dries and then you want to take your red puffy paint and you want to outline the heart. This is going to be the sauce that is coming out from underneath the cheese. And then once the sauce completely dries, you can cut it into pizza slices. Now you can leave it whole if you want, but the American Girl version has six slices, so that's what we're going to do. Once you cut it, you need to paint the inside of each slice so you don't see the white craft foam. And you can make several pizzas using the same technique if you're going to have a pizza party. For the pan, you want to take your heart crust pizza and you're going to trace around recycled paperboard. When you cut it out, you're going to leave a little bit around the edges that you just drew. So you're not going to cut right on the line. You're going to give it a little bit of space all the way around. Now you're going to take the cutout that you just made and you're going to trace it on another piece of recycled paper board so now you have two cutouts. But with the first one, you're now going to cut out the inside of the heart. This will leave you with these two pieces. You'll want to take your glue stick and glue them together and then paint it silver. And now the pizza and the pizza pan fit nicely right into the pizza box. Now to make your game box, you're going to use the same technique that we did for the pizza box. So you're going to take your printable, use a glue stick, put your printable on recycled paper board, cut it out, score along the lines, and cut the tabs. Then you're going to fold it into a box and tape it together. Repeat for the bottom of the game box. Now for the game board, you're going to want to take a piece of craft foam. I'm using the same thickness from our pizza dough and I'm just going to use a ruler to make the lines in the board. So you're just going to want straight lines all the way across going two ways to make squares along the whole board and then just use red, yellow, blue and green craft foam to cut out the pieces. Now if you need help with the shapes of each piece, you can use the little instructions that come with the printables to see which shapes you can cut out. Now you can bag up the pieces or you can just toss them in the box and it all fits nicely into the box. You want to take your instructions, 
Fold them in half, use a glue stick to glue it together, and put it right inside the box. Now for your soda cans, you're gonna take a large wooden dowel and a piece of construction paper or cardstock, roll it around the wooden dowel to get your shape of the soda can, trace it onto recycled paperboard for the bottom, glue it onto the bottom, then trace the top on the recycled paperboard, and before you glue it onto the top, you need to poke a hole through the top so your straw will fit through nicely. And now you can glue it to the top of the soda can. To get the color of an aluminum can, I'm using aluminum duct tape. I'm just gonna wrap it around the can. This part is optional. You can also just use craft paint if you don't have any duct tape at home. Paint the top to match the can. And then take the printable, tape it around the can so you have strawberry sparkling water. Cut a mini straw to fit right through the top. And for the Slumber Wonders book, I'm just gonna use the printable and I'm gonna cover it over two pieces of craft foam. Now you can use real paper if you wanna make it a real book. I just wanted to give the illusion of a book. And then you have the two paper plates that come with the printables. You can leave them as is or you can add them to cardstock. We left an ingredient off the pizza. Did you notice what it was? Leave a comment with the answer.